During the trial, businessman Richard Jakpa, who was being cross-examined by Godwin Eduji Tamaklu, counsel for Keso Atoforsen, was cautioned by Justice Ifya Sewa Asaribuchi to be direct in his responses rather than going around it and wasting the court's time. The third accused was responding to questions on who was behind approval of letters of credit for the purchase of the ambulances. Attorney General Godfrey Yebo Adame, reacting to the judge's caution, accused Richard Jakpa of defending Dr. Keso Atoforsen. This triggered the third accused who retorted that the Attorney General appeared pained because he had engaged him to help the state make a case against Dr. Keso Atoforsen. Richard Jakpa alleged that he had been approached by the AG and had had all our meetings with him on implicating the former deputy minister, but he refused. The minority leader who was present in court was taken aback and looked upset by the development. Justice Ifya Sewa Asaribotri then stood down the case and called all representing lawyers as well as the attorney general into her chambers for a meeting. After about 30 minutes, the case was recalled, after which she indicated that at the next hearing, a steel of proceedings motion filed by counsel for Atu Forsen will be heard. The case has been adjourned to May 28 for further cross-examination of Richard Jakpa. Dr. Keso Atoforsen, together with Dr. Sylvester Animana and Richard Jakpa, are on trial for causing financial loss of 2.37 million euros to the state through a contract to purchase 200 ambulances for the Ministry of Health. The state has, however, discontinued the case against Dr. Sylvester Animana. Lord Edward, sorry. TV3 News, Accra.